Hello everyone, Emily here. I am working on uh, squares. I'm making different squares to sew together for a blanket. And I am doing one square. And I love this stitch. It makes your yarn, this is Red Heart, really super thick. And it is half double crochets. And so you can see I've done quite a bit. Now I chained 20. I did half double crochets and then I started doing this pattern. So you can see your V on top and you yarn over and you go into the back loop of that V and then you look back here and you go into the loop from the previous round and you bring it through. And you can see that that is really making this a doubled and very thick. Isn't it pretty? It is really making this nice and thick. So me and my daughter decided that we were going to make squares, each of us. And then we were going to sew them together. Oh, there goes Thomas and we were gonna sew them together to make a nice blanket. Now on this last stitch here, I do like to just go um, right underneath two and do one single crochet to make it nice and tight. So I was working on this and I thought, you know what, I'd really like to show it to you because this works out so nice and I'm planning on making some scarves with this. Um, I'll show you some of the squares I've been working on. All of our squares are the same size. This I did, um, I chained 20, and then I chained one, single crochet, chained one, single crochet, and you can see here I missed a stitch. And I just kept going back and forth. And I'm sorry, I've done a tutorial on this before, and I'll be darned if I can remember the name of it. Anyway, it turned out really pretty. All of our squares were going around with this gray. I did another one. And you can see that I, I'm only using three colors and she's using three different colors. So when we sew it together, it will be one of mine, one of hers, one of mine. And that's gonna be our pattern, but all our squares are gonna be different. So I did my row of single crochets. And then here you can see I did single crochet, chained one, single crochet, and then when I went to the back, everywhere I did a single crochet, I just did a single crochet, and you just go back and forth. Then I went around a bit, around with a double crochet, and then I went around with my gray, because I want all of my squares to be the same size, but I really like the going around the outside. I think it just gives it a really pretty character. I really love this color together. And if you've seen any of my videos, you know I love Gaudi and lots of color. These are the colors she gave me to work with. This is a corner to corner. So you start here and then you just uh, work from corner to corner. I have done a tutorial on this. This is a really pretty stitch. I really like it. And both sides kind of look the same. And then I did another one and I changed my colors. So I think this just, you know, it's really pretty. It gives a little, a lot of character. And then I did one in this color. And then I was working on this one and you can see that I grabbed the wrong color white. I don't know why I did that. So this one is gonna be the oddball. So you can see how this isn't perfect. It like leans. But what I did is I just kept going around. But if you were to do this and then do this blue, cut it off and then turn it over and do the back. And you just kept turning it over every time you went around, it would probably be a lot straighter. But for me, I did not do that. But I really like the colors and we are making 35 each for a total of 70 squares. Then we're going to get together and I'm going to sew them together um, for a blanket for someone in the family for Christmas. 
and I think it's just going to be really pretty. And this one square is going to be probably the thickest one of the whole bunch, I'm afraid. I don't know what kind of stitches she's doing. Um, I wish I could remember the name of this stitch. I'm so sorry. My, my brain is not working today. But it is very warm and thick. And I'm thinking if I had some uh, Ogo yarn, which I do have. I got some at um, Michael's. And see, I chained one, and I'm just going to go right into this very first one in the back loop only. And then look back here. And I'm just going to go right underneath and grab it. So uh, in my last video, I think it was my very last video, I... Uh, showed me going to Michael's and getting some yarn and I got an Ogo that was all messed up and I haven't had a chance to unmess it up yet oh you know what I apologize we have to do half double crochets or we won't have nothing to go into the next round that's very important but um, when I did go to Michael's I did get uh, an Ogo, and so this stitch would be really nice to make it nice and thick. So I'm going to yarn over, go into the back loop only, and then I'm just going to go down below and get that loop. So you have to do that double, that half double crochet so that you get that loop back here, or get the loop here so that when you go back and forth, you have that back loop to grab a hold of. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Have a great day and just, you know, if you have a scrap yarn and you just want to try this out and see how um, thick it is, you're just going to love it. It's absolutely wonderful. Have a great day. Stay safe. I'll be back soon. And keep on crocheting. See you soon. Bye.